All right, Carly, thank you. Uh, does this look like items that you might find in your closet, maybe, you know, yeah. even in your life somewhere in your room? Rich Brackett is back here to help us tidy up our lives, and he's going to walk us through the basic process. Good to have you back, Rich. Good to be back, Nick. Uh, good to see you this morning. Yeah, so these are the items here. We're talking about, like, decluttering. Yes. But then, obviously, you have items here that we can kind of clean out our homes with, right? So what do we got? Right, so we're talking about the KonMari method, and, and she has a very particular order which you have to go through these things. So one of the big principles is getting everything in that category out into one big pile. So when you talk about clothing, you want to get all your clothing out of your closet, put it in one pile, and go one by one, piece by piece. And then the other part of it is, it, does it spark joy? Does it make you happy? If it sparks joy, keep it. If it doesn't, get rid of it. So for example, chief shirt sparks joy. Keep. She, she, yeah, absolutely keep. keep this. She has very particular folding methods. Tom Brady jersey does not spark joy in the least bit. No, trash. And usually she says, thank the things that you get rid of. So I'm going to make an exception this time. We're not going to do that. <laughs> So the next segment is books, and you know, a book like the Dave Ramsey on Trade Leadership book brings me joy, sparks joy in my life. Now, knit or crochet, have it your way. Probably for Mark, I don't know that it sparks joy for me right. anymore. <laughs> Probably can go ahead and get rid of it. The next section is paper. You know, we all have lots of paper around our house, bills, all kinds of things. This definitely sparks joy. It's a, a picture that my son drew me, so I'm, I'm definitely keeping that. But I, I collect a lot of articles. I read a lot of articles. I print them off. I've got tons of these around the house. Pitch them. Get rid of it. It's just worthless. The next section is kimono, which is a lot of random things. Kitchen items, CDs. I, I chose DVDs. Obviously, great shot of Mark here as well. Love Anchorman. <laughs> I'm keeping this, so this is a definite keep. He's just not that into you. I'm just not into this anymore. It does not spark joy, so it's gone. And then the final section is sentimental items, which yeah, I've got two here. One. My dancing trophy from ESPN. Does it spark joy? Even though I know I'm a good dancer, I don't need the proof around my house that I'm a good dancer. By the so way, I'm, what kind of dancing were you doing here? Was it ballroom dancing? Uh, ballroom dancing, indeed. Indeed. There is, a, there is footage on YouTube, which I know I'm going to have to give you and Mark after oh, this. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah. But my grandfather's <laughs> duck call sparks joy for me. and sparks joy for my, mm -hmm. my sons as well. So that's a keeper. So go through these things one by one. Get everything out into one big pile and see if it sparks joy in your life. It's really critical to make sure that you keep the things in your life that are going to make you happy on a day-to-day -day basis. All right. I think what's cool here is that we're going to take those five areas and how we can apply them to our lives here. So let's go right. over here to the screen here. Let's take a look. And we're going to tick these off here one by one here. And uh, we'll start with number one here. And Rich, you take us, uh, take us through this here. Sure. So here we, go. Oh, we, we talk a lot number. about how you can declutter your house, but here's how you declutter your life. Go through your friends, whether it's just analyzing who your friends are, who you surround yourself with, because you are the product of who you surround yourself with. If somebody's not sparking joy, if they're not making you happy, go ahead and get rid of them. Not rudely, but thank them for their time. Thank them for what they've done for your life. I had the word negativity coming up in my mind. Exactly. Right now. If, you, if you've got an Eeyore or two in your life, now's the time to get rid of them. Declutter your life. All right, pal, number two. Number two, activity. So maybe you've got some activities in your life that take up a lot of time. You know, we, we've all been guilty. I've been guilty of binge watching Netflix and getting into a series and spending hours upon hours watching that. That doesn't make me happy anymore. That doesn't spark joy. I can go do other things that are going to spark joy in my life. So look at those activities that you spend a lot of time on. Do a journal of what you do and then figure out what things are not sparking joy anymore. Just get rid of them. Interesting. All right, number three. Huge, huge, huge. Social media. Go through your followers list. Go through your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter. Look who you're following because the people that you follow, whether you actively follow all their content or not, as you're scrolling, there's a mental trigger that's going to make you feel negative that's not going to spark joy because you're seeing their name, you're seeing their content, you're seeing their face. Now's a good time to go through and purge that list. Okay, Rich, wrap us up here with number sure. four and number five. Again, habits. If, you, if you've got some bad habits, maybe they're eating habits, whatever they are, not exercising, clean up those habits and then work. Find the joy in your work, find the joy in your career, and spark joy on a daily basis. Oh, good stuff, and Rich. You, great to see you again. Really appreciate it. Hey, you can get more from Rich on his podcast and at social media. He has links to all of it on his website at richbracken.com.